Hello, it's Thrones here with another YouTube video. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at some brickheads that I got sent by Jar Jar Bricks. Um, before we start, uh, sorry, I've been kind of a, a missing for like the past week-ish uh, in terms of, you know, Instagram posts and Twitch and all that. Um, I had work thinking I wouldn't have work, which made me really tired. Had a bunch of stuff going on in between, and then I got sick for a bit. So I'm better now. Everything's trying to go back to normal. Next week, I'll have plenty of time to kind of like catch up on content I want to make, hopefully. Um, there's contests I want to apply to as well. So for those that didn't know, I won the, with uh, Luke Sky Dragon um, the Minot contest, which is really cool. So you should go check TJ Lego Room's video on that. Um, on to the video. So as I said, Jar Jar Bricks sent me these. Um, when I did the Bricks Fest Live event, I had these on display as well of other people's models. And the point of them sending it to me is A, to show the public some models that are not mine, um, some of the products that Jar Jar Bricks has in their lineup, and um, for me to make videos on them and talk about, you know, what I think. So as you can see, there are five Brickheads. There is a sixth that I got as well. It will not be shown here because some of the parts are missing. Um, I told them to not deal with sending me the parts back. I'm just going to send the Brickheads back anyways. It, you know, it happens, things happen, we, we move on. So, the first four are the ones I'm going to talk about first, because they're kind of similar in their design. Um, the B1 battle droid I will talk last. So, we'll move this guy out of the way, and we'll move these closer so you can see them a little better. So, these four are... Uh, from the 501st, from the Clone Wars, um, we have Rex, we have Fives, Echo, and Jess. Um, their designs are kind of similar in how they are built in terms of the legs, the head, pauldrons, backpacks, that kind of stuff. Um, they all look very similar. The main things that are changed around are like colors. Um, some guns are changed around, a couple of parts are changed around for like chest plates and stuff, and the the way the heads are done are slightly changed. So these two heads are the same, this head's different, this head's different. Um, they are all made by the designer HP Bricks, for those that don't know HP Bricks, he um, posts often on Instagram, a lot more than I can do. Um, a lot of recolors and redesigns of models that are similar in kind of waves that he does. Um, so he's really good at pumping out content. He's got content on lockdown. I cannot do that. I don't have the ability to catch up with that. Um, and he makes some pretty good models. So for these, I think they're pretty good. I, as someone who's made brick heads myself, you know, I, I can only be so harsh about models. Um, I think these are pretty good. I personally would have preferred a different way to get the detail for the chests. I feel the chests actually bump out too far, if you look. Because if you look at the side right... The head goes this far. The chest almost goes out as far. So it makes them feel a little chubby, if you know what I mean. Um, possibly indenting this inside the model, I feel, would have been very beneficial. Um, the guns are really good. I think the guns are done really well. The legs are done very, very well. The heads are done very well, I'd say, because... I mean, I, I don't think clone heads are too hard to do, mostly because they're, like, some sort of bald or almost bald. They're supposed to have really short hair. So... I think this this works really well. Something that I find really cool about these is, is if you notice, right, uh, Jess and Fives, um, they have stuff on their heads. And I was wondering how this was going to be accomplished. And these are, I'm pretty sure, pad printed on or something. Like, there's, there's a slight raised area for this print on the Lego piece. And that's really cool. I think that makes these really deluxe um doing something similar to the way lego does stuff of you know putting prints on the pieces that that's really really cool i think that makes them very unique very different from like probably something else you could get elsewhere um i feel it makes the prices a little bit more worth it um they are selling these i think all of these for let me double check e Yes, so all of them except Captain Rex. So this one's 25, and these are all 30. Um, they actually managed to get this cheaper than I'm able to. Some of my models are actually really... Uh, the brickheads that I have for sale are much more expensive than that. Um, I think mine are like 35 for any of them. 
Um, so they managed to get the cost of these guys down pretty well. Um, so good job on that. I did, that's something that I struggle to do a lot, actually, is getting costs down on, on when I do custom kits. Um, so yeah, I think these are these are pretty good. Um, the backpacks are good. The, the heads are mostly good. So not much to say about these ones. The ones that I want to talk about a lot more, so I'll, I'll slide these guys over. Um, the reason I made him kind of like his own thing, please, is the B1 Battle Droid. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is great. I love this model a lot. When I displayed at um, Bricks Fest Live, people loved this guy. They thought this was adorable. They thought he was 100% worth it. And I would agree, this is a great model. It looks very accurate with the pieces available. Um, because B1 Battle Droids are really skeletal, you have to have a lot of openness and the use of the kind of like telescope pieces to get the legs is very clever having these kind of like holes for the model is really clever the way the arms are done is really clever to make it kind of like you know minimalistic and stuff um the head is really well done and it's on a joint actually so this can kind of pivot up and down so this this is the highlight for me out of, out of all the brick heads i think this is the big highlight um this designer is not hp bricks this is heads brick heads brick is i think he's in france um he is a fantastic bricks heads designer he does some really quality brick head models um i like a lot of them i think they're really well done and this one just you know it's, it's a great example of that that attention to detail on the models in in such a small kind of package you know um he does only specialize in brick heads though so if you're his, his instagram is i'll post all the two designers instagrams at the bottom um so he he specializes in brick heads that's like his thing and you can see that he really honed his craft on designing these models for sure and this model is available from jar jar bricks for 20 which i think is worth that that's worth it that's that's totally worth it. I think these. this is super cool. Um, I'd I'll honestly get one of these myself. It's so adorable. I would love to see a B2 version of this. I, that would be really challenging, but I really want to see how that would be done. I have like a couple of ideas in my own head of like how to even accomplish that. What colors would you even use? Would it be blue? Would it be sand blue? Would it be light bluish gray? I don't know. So this is dope. This, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. <laughs> if you couldn't tell. That's why I left it for last. Um, just very unique, just a very unique brickheads, because, you know, these, these are cool, but these are people, and so having a droid that's so skeletal like this, I think is, is really impressive, and really shows the, the quality of the designer's work, so, that's what I got for you guys today, um, sorry, it's a little bit of a shorter video, I was hoping to do a longer video, but some other stuff that I'm working on, I have yet to properly catch up on the setup for those videos um i know i haven't done an ata video yet i do plan to work on that um expect for me to upload more shorts soon hopefully um probably one after this video around wednesday thursday of the crab droids because i need to make a shorts video on those since i still have them right now so i'll be making that as well um contest the uh the the thrones 30 part contest the video is up for that if you haven't voted, please go do so. Link up there. And uh, that's all I got for you guys for today. So thank you, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.